this week on Date with Design. Our bachelor Paul is a professional comedian. He hopes to have one of our three bachelorettes, Julie, Ruth, or Tanya, laughing all the way to a love overhaul. Hi, I'm Richard Yearwood, and on this episode of Date With Design, we turn the tables. This time, it's a bachelor who makes a choice between three very lovely ladies who have all admitted they could use a decor boost as well as a romantic one. And how will he choose his blind date? By looking through their homes, of course. That's right. Once he decided which space gives him that certain vibe, he'll make it romance ready. And then, and only then, will he meet the lovely lady that lives there. But first, I say, let's meet today's three bachelorettes. <laughs> I have a huge interest in the arts. I love to cook. I love spending time outside, especially during the summer. I love food of all types. And that's about it. I study interior design at night school. I like disco dancing, and I'm a couch potato. I like to run. I like to keep fit. Um, I also practice yoga. I like to travel and laugh and just have a lot of fun. Now that you've met these three courageous women, let's meet the guy who's going to change their lives. Well, their home decor, anyway. What I look for in a woman is uh, someone who likes to laugh. A woman that smiles is, is usually very attractive, anyone that smiles. Uh, someone who's very easygoing, next door, laid back, but also has that kind of spontaneity feel about her. They're willing to try, you know, different things. Now that you met Paul, what do you think? Well, we're off to rummage through the homes of our three very trusting bachelorettes. Now remember, Paul does not know who lives where, but I do. Ah. ah, yes. Already we can tell it's a, a girl place because we have candles. <sighs> Comfortable? Comfortable. Is this your kind of feel? Like the old style wood floor? Yeah, I, I actually like old style. And, and the couches, as you can see, can uh, they match. That's obviously a sign of a female living here. I believe this is uh, true mahogany slash cherry with a Victorian style. And you, you wanted to... Uh... To point out the lovely artwork well, yeah. here? <laughs> this, uh, <laughs> well, lovely, I don't know what that is. Yeah, let's go check out the rest of the place. Let's do it. What do we have? Oh, well, <laughs> I don't mind this bathroom. All right, what does it say about the girl? Uh, class. Class, nice. nice. Oh, the, uh, the bedroom. Okay, well, this doesn't uh, speak as loudly as the bathroom, strangely enough. Is that something? Maybe in my earlier years, I would have been in that dog bed for a joke. <laughs> no, you've come, you've come too far. You don't have to do that. Yeah. What I get from this apartment is a girl that's uh, pretty down to earth, um, active, uh, unassuming. It seems like someone that I would I would know and be comfortable with from just from the apartment. This would be my least favorite of the rooms. And why? There's so much energy in these rooms, but in the bedroom you get in there and it's just this dead energy because of the walls are just that kind of white, just bought the place kind of look to it. Where is her personality? Right? Nowhere. Do you have any hobbies? Yes, I do. I'm a runner, and I practice yoga. Teen interior design at night class. I like to watch TV, probably a bit too much. I like to perform. I really like to perform singing and, and improv. OK, now that you've seen the home of one bachelorette, are you ready for the second one? OK, here we are. I think home. Well, like lived in homey kind of feeling. What about this daddy chair? It's a nice chair. And you look good in it. Thank you. I see a love of music here. I think I can help you out. No, maybe I can't. I like this leather couch. Is it comfortable? No. no. <laughs> it's not comfortable at all. I find the leather strange. Not strong, but it doesn't seem feminine. Right. Or it, else well, it's not true. the kind of feminine I'm used to. What is this? Is that a karaoke machine? It is. It says karaoke on it. <laughs> that could be a problem. It's interesting. This is kind of a clash of ideas, I think. Don't you? Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. The bedroom. The bed and the, and the room itself suggests country style living, country girl. <laughs> what about the desk over here? Does it speak to you? This doesn't say much except that uh, everyone needs a desk. Did you notice that she has a boyfriend? He's got a kind of a forced smile. Right, not like us. No. This fireplace I like. Why is that? 
It, it says romance, I think. Well, she doesn't need a radiator in the corner of her room. She wants real heat, real passion. This is a uh, intelligent, creative, musical, spiritual girl is what I get from this place. Upstairs I got the sense that uh, very homey and, uh, and a social aspect as well. Um, you know, like that she likes to have parties and likes to have people over. There are places in, the, in this house that need just a bit better organization. There's the desk area that didn't seem quite as organized or as nice as the other parts of the room. So I would, I would reorganize that and work on that to bring it up to the same level that I got from the rest of the room. What's your passion? My passion, not one passion, a lot of passions, a lot of likes. My passion is people. My passion is design. Comedy is my passion, uh, performing comedy, uh, watching comedy. Uh, I make a living, actually, uh, believe it or not. You won't get it from this video, at doing comedy. And it's what I love, and to get paid for it is great. OK, let's go see our third bachelorette, Pat. OK, here we are. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of have to lean back in this couch. Uh, over here we have um, the sunflowers and a variety of books. A wide variety of CD selection, which is always good. They got every artist. You got a little R&B in here. Yeah, actually, they do have pretty much everything in here. Some jazz. So we have the bedroom. This, this. this rocks. This is cool. This says, says uh, organized, but it's also... Um, it's modern, it's funky. It's modern, it's, it's funky, yeah. It's taking a risk, really. The bed on the floor, though, is... <laughs> OK, you and I both know what the bed on the floor means. It means first year university. Right. Uh, here we have the kitchen, which is uh, sparse. Need some paint on the walls, obviously. Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah, it could be, uh, or, or even pictures, or... Well, I guess the thing I, uh, we got from this is that she seems to be like a girl on the go, you know, always busy. But the uh, that, that's not a bad thing. You want someone that's independent and, you know, kind of take control of their life. So have you figured out whose place is whose? And which place do you think Paul's going to redecorate? Will it be a date with design? Welcome back. Now that Paul, our bachelor, has toured all three of our lovely ladies' places, they are just dying of anticipation. Pick me, Paul, over here. My place is the best. <laughs> hey, Ruth, Ruth. Yeah? I think he chose your place. Really? Really? He likes my space? Didn't he see it? He might pick me? Well, now that's a smart guy. It's time for Paul to decide which one he's chosen to redecorate. I didn't choose this space because uh, it just really didn't speak to me. There was a lot of stuff already done here. I didn't feel like there was much more I could add to make this space any better. I didn't choose this space because it didn't really feel like a place I'd want to have to work on or work in, so I passed on this. I chose this space because it's got that warm feel to it. It just feels like there's a girl next door that lives here. I think the bedroom needs work. The bedroom doesn't have a lot of paint done to it. It feels kind of cold and, and unfinished. And uh, and there's certain things in the bedroom, like the, uh, the bookshelf slash dresser, I think that can just get taken out of there, maybe replaced with something else. Now that Paul has chosen the room with the bedroom blues of our unknown bachelorette, let's meet our designer who's going to help Paul redecorate. Meet Stuart Swing, a designer modern. OK, so this is what you've chosen. What are, what are some of your thoughts about the room? All the other rooms, like the bathroom, the living room, they, it's got color and life That's in right. it. And yeah. this room is just its kind of dull right now. It seems so. pretty blah in comparison. You're right. See, I like this kind of like curtain idea and the idea that she's added color to it and stuff right. like that, but I don't think she's maximizing the shelf space. I think we could probably come up with something that'll give her some better storage, hide that stuff away. Uh, the bed uh, can get a bit more color or, or something, I don't know. I don't mind the flower ones, but this, this painting, just... it's just too gray. And the girl's back's to it. It's like she's in the corner or something. She's been disciplined or <laughs> yeah. something. Bad girl. What piece of furniture do you need in your space? I really need a sofa. I'd like an armoire or a shelf. I have a really, really nice bed. I need a headboard and a footboard to go with it. 
I always think candles are a good place to start. Okay, so we've got romance. a romantic element there. Scented. I'm thinking a new candle is probably a good thing, though. Well, uh, yeah, I know. If you want to impress this girl or not. <laughs> I know that the walls need something. Right. Don't necessarily know what they would need. For me, forest green has always been a... Forest, I don't know, it's kind of shades of 1986, <laughs> don't you think? Yeah. See, there you go. That's why we need you. All right, I got a couple of things here for you. Great. The theme for the space is to uh, combine the contemporary elements with some of the traditional elements that are already existing in the space and just brighten it up, liven it up, make it a little bit more contemporary and lived in. So I'm thinking to stay kind of in that family of the greens, yellows. Yes. The other thing that I was thinking uh, was the area rugs. Yeah, that, that just seems a little too busy. Uh, it looks like, you know, maybe our dog was sick. I mean, we'll like... go with this, so if the dog is sick, you know, yeah. we'll know. So what do you think? Have we got a plan? I think we got a plan, yeah. yeah do you think it's going to win her over? I hope so. Okay, well, let's hit the shops and see what we can do. Okay, good. Okay. Do you have a fantasy place? Yeah, I've always thought myself living beside the ocean. My fantasy space would be a log cabin anywhere in the country overlooking water. I would really like to have an old gypsy wagon in the backyard, peeling paint, flowing curtains. <laughs> that is nice. Paul, it looks like we've stumbled upon the bed and bath uh, haven here. Of course, yeah. What do you think good. about this? Well, this is a kind of you know, busy. Yeah. I'm thinking if we do some white bed linens and things, that might sort of uh, offset the offset it a little bit too. Of it. Today we're shopping for lighting. We'll be needing some uh, accent lights on either side of the bed, probably a standing light, some drapery treatments to uh, address the window, and probably something to cover up the bare hardwood floors. Well, like, look at this right here. That looks good. I like that one. There's something about the red I like. Yeah, I think there is something about the red. That yeah, you I like. do. Yeah, well, the shoes here. Yeah, kind of, well, it's kind of a theme for you. You know, breakfast in bed. Well, there's nothing more romantic than breakfast in bed. My shopping tips are uh, simple, just buy in bulk, I think is my idea. You know, find stuff uh, that goes together in a pattern. Uh, it's usually get a discount on it, you know, save a bit of money. So it, it's fine, that's, that's my idea. Mission accomplished. Let the romance and makeover begin. All right. I guess we've got some work to do here. Let's get started. <laughs> What do you think? I want to make sure it's something that would be impressive, you know, especially okay. to someone I haven't met yet. Paul and Stuart are striving for a romantic bedroom, but whose is it? Just who is the potential date, or better yet, what would she think of Paul? Paul and Stuart are standing by to make over our bedroom, but you have no idea who really lives there, right? Tanya Julia Ruth. <laughs> well, guess what? I do, and you are in for a surprise. <laughs> so what they're going for is a 40s glam with a contemporary twist. Well, at least that's what Stuart told me. All right, well, All right. we've got a few wrinkles that we're gonna have to take care of here. <laughs> did, you, did you call for an iron, Stuart? I did, actually, <laughs> that's perfect. As much as I, I love these sheets, Yes. She's actually in love with her own Egyptian cotton sheets. Really? So do you think that you guys made the right choice? In, uh... I don't know, you don't want to mess with the girl's bed too much. Yeah. <laughs> We're in trouble, Richard. Let me show you how that works. Not good. Not good. Oh. It's all right. It's yeah, all right. We'll tap that, that in. You know, the truth of the matter, you're not thinking about the work right now. No, no. No. I'm thinking about lunch. <laughs> and can I get you guys to think about your brackets for oh, a couple? Sure. <laughs> Stuart needs to lighten up huge. Stuart has made me cry three times already shaping this thing, and it's not funny. My holes are in line. Perfect. A couple of options for the floor here. OK. What do you think? Soft and silky and just... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at the other one. It seems like I need like at least a minute to take in the whole carpet because it's like, it's for some reason my body can't process this stuff. I really don't know which, uh, I would... Let's strip the bed. 
All right, guys, you got the bed already there. Yep. And then I thought we could bring in a shot of color as well. We've mm -hmm. got these shams, which we can put on uh, some extra pillows at the back. I don't know if that's, I don't know, I mean, OK. Well, I've got another option up my sleeve. I'm thinking maybe something along this line. Yeah. We're going to have to try and figure out which one of these pillows is, is uh, easy on the eyes, but still not too crazy. This way is taking a risk. That's taking what I'm saying. A risk. Taking a risk. Risk taker. Making the bed is an interesting experience because uh, when you make your own bed, you don't care, right? Because it's usually just you looking at it. But this is someone's going to be looking at this for the first time, and I'm doing it. Looks like you got it all under control here, except for the fact that I think the sheet's sideways. <laughs> this armoire has turned into a dreaded fiasco. I really hope she likes it because um, if she doesn't, we put a lot of work in for something that could just end up being a disaster. I'm a little bit concerned right now about the armoire. I don't know if we're gonna get it in there, to be honest with you. Whew. 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 Well, we got this in. Uh, we're running out of twist room. All right, we're gonna get this in. We're gonna get this in. Do you wish that she could see you right now working so hard to get this unit into her space? Yes. Yes, I do. Got the tape, man. Yeah. It's only a uh, half-hour show. Half-hour show. All right, we've got some tables here. Mm -hmm. Table for each side. I think this could go on Richard's side. Now, are you feeling a little bit romantic in this space yet? You know, it's, it, you could go from that room in the front, you come in here, and you feel like you're at the cottage. What's scary is she hates cottages. And cut. What is your personal style? I like uh, all sorts of different genres of furniture from different time eras, and I like to mix them all together. My personal style is contemporary, cozy, and a little funky. My personal style is rustic and cozy. So this is take two of getting this armoire into the space. Um, take two. Oh, here it is. Look, oh, look. Oh, oh. Who's on fire? OK, Paula, I've got a couple of pieces of artwork here. All right. I was thinking this could go over the bed. Maybe this is better feng shui to have, you know, a couple, an embrace. Hanging pictures I don't mind doing, except when I'm the one who has to figure out where they need to go. I don't have an eye for, like, is this going to look good there? Is this gonna, that going to look good there? So uh, it could be trouble. This could be the biggest mistake of my life. One of the projects that we came up with to create some inexpensive artwork was to take some stock images. We've used postcards in this case. We've adhered them with a spray adhesive to a card backing and used a standard frame and mat. Inexpensive solution for a stylish look. Well, gentlemen, <sighs> I think I've pretty much done my job here. Uh, you've done an amazing job, man. It's pleasure working with you. I'm going to get great. out of the way and just let you guys do your thing. Thank you. Pleasure, Stuart. Pleasure to see you. Always. So, uh, you feeling good? I feel great. I think this would be a room that uh, anyone would be happy to be in. Right, but is there uh, something missing that you know? Oh, you know, I forgot. She has a dog. Yes. I'm a cat man, so I was going to add in a little taste of cat to her room. Subtle, subtle. <laughs> wow. And we'll see how she reacts to that. If she doesn't like cats, that could be it. That so, could be the ooh, end. So the real question is, will a cat lover and a dog lover get together? It's the age-old question, really. That's brilliant. Thank you. All right, so we now have a romantic boudoir with a hint of dashing Paul. His mystery date is standing by. But who is this lucky lady? And what would she think of Paul? Oh, the suspense. Okay, this is it. In just a few seconds, Paul's gonna meet the owner of the romantic bedroom he just redecorated, and so will you. Will Paul's efforts lead to a date with design? Here we go. Well, my friend, my friend, my friend. First off, you look hot. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel good. I will, I mean, the room, I think, will speak for itself. So myself. you're confident with the... Uh, I'm confident in the room. All right, so... Uh, once you've met her, had a little bit of time together, what are you going to do for her? Well, I think the most obvious thing we have here is our tea set. Yes. Tea. And I was thinking, I don't know if we can get a special kind of tea where you can read the leaves, see what's in our future, Ooh, perhaps. Nice. And if not, I'll just make something up. 
TikTok, TikTok. No worries. He feels the same way as you do. So you're good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm Tanya. I'm, Ta I'm Paul. <laughs> nice You're to Tanya. meet you. Oh my goodness. No. This is unbelievably gorgeous. I'm blown away. Wow. <laughs> What's with the cat? That's my little uh, touch to, uh, to you. Because uh -huh. you have a dog mm -hmm. and I have two cats. Oh. So I had to see if we could still get along. <laughs> see? This nice. is the dresser. <laughs> wow. Because I noticed you had the bookshelf <gasps> before, right? So oh, wow. Now I need space. more clothes. What made you decide to, like, what go made you this? go with colors and... The... We wanted something light colored, like, you know, your front room was orange and the bathroom was red. Right, right. So we thought, like, green would be something that would go along with that. And it goes with your eyes perfectly. Oh, thank you. I must have known. <laughs> And uh, yeah. we were gonna pour some tea. I was thinking maybe, you know, like to go with the kind of whole idea of uh, reading the future and stuff like that. Oh. If you look in this teacup here, you might be able to read the tea leaves at the bottom. Okay. Ah. It says dream together and cuddle. It's the only three words I understand. Isn't that sweet? It went well, wouldn't you say? I think it went very well. I think it was great. I can't even ask for a better response. Let's cut right to the chase. Okay. What do you think of Paul over there? He's pretty fly. Beautiful. This is, uh, I'm happy. Congratulations, guys. So this is your room. I love it. I really, really love it. Tell me about you. Uh, Paul likes to go for long walks in the park. <laughs> is it just me? But was Tanya close to tears as she discovered her new romantic bedroom? Or maybe it has something to do with Paul's magical wit? Well, I'm Richard Yearwood, and thanks for watching Date with Design, where we design with romance in mind. Uh, so, uh, and what do you do? That's why you did this so well. Isn't it, though? You're just sort of like, like a tour guide. You just knew exactly what to do.